we got to make mention of this, and people got mad at Bobby, and for fuck's sake, he's a fucking recovered cancer patient, for God's sake. He doesn't live his life paying attention to everybody's scandals anymore. He just promotes Chillicothe. But Bobby... Oh, come on. And his, and his son... Well, he, he didn't know how bad people hate this guy, but Bobby and his son, Dylan, for their big-time... You know, wrestling big time collectibles. They do signings. They do those great shows up in Chillicothe. He draws a couple thousand people with a lot of the legends, blah, blah, blah. But they just put up on, I guess, Facebook and on and Twitter. Hey, what well, we've booked for an upcoming signing, John Laurinaitis. I guess they maybe they were selling it his first post WWE appearance or whatever. And everybody, universe, normally in a situation like this, it'd be like me, maybe. Somebody like me, I can see where half the people would say, oh, we can't wait to meet him. And half the people are like, we're bringing a pitchfork. But it wasn't half and half. It wasn't 70-30. It wasn't 80-20. It wasn't even 90-10. Everybody shit on this like they'd just eaten the goddamn Supreme at Taco Bell. And just universally on, I've never... Can you think of anybody that's ever, that has done anything over the last 20 years, Brian, that has been advertised to do an appearance and not nobody gave a fuck and everybody was against it? Oh, yeah, that Joey Ryan show in Knoxville that was going to happen. That, oh, oh, okay. For women's okay, charity. Sorry. For women's charity. For women's, even the women's charity called bullshit. Okay, there's one. Okay, J Joey Ryan and John Laurinaitis are now the... The only people apparently in wrestling that are officially just completely fuck you, we don't want to see you. Let's talk about this for a second, and we can go past Bobby and Dylan, although they should have known better than this, and they should have I will, expected I will, this uh, reaction. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan should be paying attention to the internet. I've, when I talk to Bobby, I know for a fact, yes, he, he likes to see the boys, but he doesn't fucking live his life on the goddamn internet anymore watching the latest wrestling news af and reactions to people after his health issues but go ahead but looking past that if you're laurenitis what the hell are you thinking <laughs> hey it's, it's time to get back out there and see the fans and meet some chicks <laughs> what are you thinking why is he doing this he should know better he should know this is gonna happen well i guess he knows now should he um, manage teddy hart Oh, God. I, you know, Teddy might fucking slip in with a, a 90 10. The dynamic ludes. <laughs> but that's the thing. I mean, everyone should have known this was a bad idea. And everyone should have known that no one was going to be enthusiastically, all right, Johnny Ace finally back on the circuit. No, he's one of those guys that everyone's like, please go away forever. Don't you know back. what? He, actually, even before the scandal, do you think anybody wanted to meet him? Any of the fans? Give a shit. There's probably the, like, some geeky fan who wants to get his action figure signed from years ago. Of Does he have Johnny an action Hick. figure? Everyone does. He must. He must. Wow. <laughs> but here's the problem. How do, you, how do you make an action figure out of somebody that never had any action? <laughs> I don't well, he had play. some action, but it was the wrong kind. I could go on, but I won't. But the point is, the upshot of this thing was they, they made this announcement and everybody universally in the world shit on it, and they made the announcement, Bobby and Dylan, 24 hours later, well, okay, after nobody, nobody liked this idea, so we've obviously reconsidered we will not be working with John We've replaced him. We're now booking Jose Gonzalez into oh, uh, Ohio. Hey, you know what? At least he's he's doing kids' birthday parties in Puerto Rico. Remember, as the conclusion of Dark Side of the Ring a couple years ago uh, revealed. But never. Maybe Laurenitis can do some kids' birthday parties. Maybe the kids of all the paralegals. Anyway.